Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. It can be quite upsetting to realize that we have forgotten the password and as a result, we are unable to open the Excel file. In this video, I will demonstrate how to decrypt a file without the password. Before continuing, please ensure that you have the right to decrypt the file. Without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, go to the Developer tab, click on Visual Basic and insert a module. As always, Always start by giving it a name. Let's say open workbook. We will need three variables. Let's define them. We can use any letter or any word as long as it is not reset. Define using variable WB to represent workbook. For the second variable, I would use file path, which should be a string to specify the file location. And the last variable, of course, is the password. I'm going to name it as my password, also as a string. And we can now make use of the file path variable to tell Excel where is the file located. Remember to type as string, which means that we need quotation mark. If you have no idea how to type the file path, let's go to the file, right click the file, click on properties, next to location, copy the file path, paste it here, make a backslash copy the file name paste it here and follow by the file type by referring to type of file what we need here is the extension so we have dot xlsm and with quotation mark next we will create combinations using different characters to generate possible passwords to do so i will use for do with a dummy let's say a set equal to a range from 33 up to 1 126. To minimize the time Excel needs to retrieve the password, consider being more selective, that is being more specific on the selection of characters. However, if you are uncertain about the characters to include, go back to the spreadsheet, pick a cell and type 33. Press enter, select the cell, then go to the home tab. In the editing group, click on fill. Select series. Under series in, select column. Columns, use a step value of 1. For the stop value, type 126. Click on OK. Next to the cell, use the collector function, select the number, and press Enter. Then select the cell, move the cursor to the bottom right corner, and double click it. And you can now check the numbers correspond to the types of characters you used when setting the password. This will help you to decide where to start and minimize the time access needs to retrieve the password. For example, if I remember, I use only combination of numbers when setting the password, which means that this will be the possibility that I should consider. Then I should run the for loop starting from 48 up to 57. So let's back to developer tab and visual basic. Instead of running all the characters available on the keyboard, so I'm going to change it to 48 up to 57. Seven. Keep in mind that the number of for loops determines the number of characters in the password. For example, if I use two characters for the password, then I should use two for loops. Remember to use different dummy. Also, set equal to 33 up to 126. Again, if you remember what types of characters we use when setting the password, then be more selective. Let's say I use only number, so I would change to 48 up to 57. Add more for loops if needed. If we have only two characters, we can now join the characters to form the password by using the variable my password. Set equal to the first character by using the character function in VBA. The first dummy, that is A, use emphasis to join with the second character, that is dummy B. And we can now try to open the workbook. I'm going to set the workbook dummy that list wb be equal to workbooks dot open bracket we need two important argument here firstly is the file name semicolon equal followed by the file path by using the second variable so we have file 
puff here, comma, the second argument, that is, the path width, semicolon, set equal to my path width, closing parenthesis, and press enter. If Excel failed to open this file due to wrong path width, then it will result an error. To handle this error, there is simple. Before that, let's add on error, resume next, which means that whenever the password is wrong, Excel will continue to generate the password by using different combinations. On the other hand, if the password is correct, I would let the user know the password. So let's set a condition. We know that if Excel failed to open the workbook, which means that WB is nothing. However, if the workbook is open, then we should have not a nothing. If this is the case, then I will prompt out a message box and tell the password. Opening parentheses, remember to type a string, which means that we need quotation mark. Make any statement that we like. For example, the file password is, I'm going to have a prosophy to emphasize the password. Now use a quotation mark to end this statement before connect with the password. Use emphasis to join the password that is my password. Use emphasis and join the rest of the statement. Also, start with quotation mark, again apostrophe and full stop. End this statement with another quotation mark. Closing parenthesis. If we have the password, which means that we can terminate this procedure simply with end. Start with if, of course we have to end with if, since we have two for loops here, which means that we need to next. Before ending this code, we should consider Consider that there might be more than two characters when setting the password. Therefore, I'm going to use the message box to tell the user that they may have to include more for loops with the statement by leaving a message. We can type any message here. For example, sorry, Excel failed to retrieve your password. However, you may try again using different number of characters full stop quotation mark and closing parenthesis and the coding part is now done so let's try to run this code the time that Excel needs to open the workbook and retrieve the password depends on the complexity of the password so as we can see I received a message telling that Excel failed to retrieve my password by using the combinations that I suggested so I'm going to click on OK so let's say I pretty sure that I use only two characters when setting the password so I'm not going to create more full loops but I'm going to consider different types of characters for example I may use only small letters so instead of using 48 up to 57 so this time I'm going to use 97 and up to 122 so let's change it so I have 97 up to 122. Also, for the second character, since I'm pretty sure I use only small letters. Let's run it again, and this time I open the file successfully, and Excel tell me that the password is AB. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.